Come on, y'all. Give it up for the brother. Come on, we can do better than that. Hey, man, I'm so proud of them, man. Hey. God is good. Hey, man. Amen. We might be getting ready to go on the road after a while, y'all. <laughs> yeah. Put on no pretty jacket shoes. Look. Hey, you terrible frog, you don't praise your own pun. Amen. Amen. I'm proud of these brothers. Amen. We thank God for our praise team this morning. They sound great. I, I can't wait to become a member of that team. We, we waiting on you. We waiting uh, on you. I just, just want to say the uh, reason why, some of the reasons why, wife is ailing in her body. So I try to stay close around for her. Yes, yes, yes. And then I dropped my timbs the other day and broke them. And I started not to MC for being embarrassed by teeth out at the bottom. But, but then I thought of, then I thought about it. I said, you'd rather go to hell with a full set or heaven with some out. So, So I had to convince my own self, and it worked. Because the devil will use anything, the enemy. he use anything to try to keep you behind. But it won't work no more that easy. I'm supposed to have a song, but I don't see him, so I guess... We won't have it this morning, I don't guess. So the next voice we hear would be of Ella LaVon Williams, a man that loved God and studied God's word. So we in for a treat. him to lift us up. Yes. But I remember a father that, that I that we all remember, praise God, that I had. I, I remember what Deacon has said and others have said about their fathers. You know, I had a rough father, y'all. He didn't take no, he, we, he didn't take no foolishness. We couldn't, we couldn't laugh and talk and run around like that with him. We had to be serious. He taught us a strong. Sometimes my wife said, honey, where are your compassion at? Well, I got a lot of it from my daddy. But <laughs> now that there is a kind of uh, rhetorical question. He said, where are your, your compassion at? <laughs> well, it was hard to find. Because my daddy was hard. He made us do what we need to do and do it right. And when he told us to do it, we better make sure it was done. But mama was different. And don't you see why? Look around, y'all. Mother's Day was much fuller than this. Look around. Mother's Day was flooding. But look at what, look, look at this. This is Father's Day. I mean, there's some here, but, but you can see the difference how. And, and one, uh, one of my students in class this morning, he said, he said, brother, he said, I don't hear much on the, on the, uh, on the, uh, on the radio, the TV about Father's Day. Is it Father's Day today? I said, yeah, it's Father's Day. It just, you don't hear much about the fathers. But there are those that love their fathers. So we just want to sing a little praise. And it's something that's in my heart that I remember a man of God used to sing all the time. And it's about I trust in God. Now, J.D. and, 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 uh, and uh, my, 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 uh, um, 
Ricardo, he, they sung those songs. I mean, they tore them up last at that youth day. They tore them up, praise God. I mean, praise God for those young men, praise God. And there's another, uh, another I trust in God that I, I'm so familiar with that we sang a long time ago, and, and my dad used to sing it, and it just pricked my heart when I thought about it this morning. It brought tears to my eyes, and I yet remember that father, praise God. But he said something like this. He said, I trust in God wherever I may be upon the land or on the rolling sea though come what may from day to day my heavenly father watches over over me I trust in God I know I know he cares for me on mountain B or on the stormy sea though the billows roll he keeps my soul my Heavenly Father watches over, over me. I like this verse, he said. He makes the rose an object of his care. He guides the eagle through the pathless air. And surely, surely he remember, remember me, my heavenly father watches over, over me. And you know, saints, that is a true fact. You know, your dad, your fathers may be gone and gone on to glory or however the Lord has taken them. Yet you have a heavenly father that's watching over us at this moment. Y'all, I'm encouraged because, you know, that was a day that, you know, I, I didn't know what I was doing. I was just foolish, a young child running crazy and blind until the Lord came into my life one day. I thank God for his deliverance and for his truth. Y'all, I'm going to run right into it because, you know, I have a message for you. Now, look, understand, a message is that I'm supposed to give you it's not a lecture. It's not a, a whole sermon. I'm just giving you a message. And, and that's what I'm going to give you today, a message. And you take that message and remember the message. Don't try to remember all this stuff that I'm reading here because you can't remember. I, I, I had to get a piece of paper to write it on. So you cannot remember. Just remember the message that I'm giving you today. That's all I'm asking you, praise God. If somebody on the street stopped and said, what did the man of God talk about? Oh, he jumped the benches, he ran down the aisle. What did he talk about? Well, I mean, he talked about the Lord. Well, now, give a message, y'all. I want to give you a message today. And so let's get right into it, praise God. You know, in this Bible, and I'm going to read, stand with me, if you will. I'm going to read the scripture, praise God. And it's one scripture that I'm going to read in your hearing, and then you can sit down, praise God. The rest of it will be out of the Bible. But one scripture is going to be Revelation 4 and 11. Right. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Just one verse, praise God, of that 4 and 11. Thank you, Jesus. And I'm going to, y'all can shut your Bible. Now, I keep mine open because I got some few things else to say to you. But hallelujah. But uh, this, you can close your Bible and sit down on your seats, praise God. Okay. It says, 4 and 11 of Revelation, it says, Thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power, for you have created all things, and for your pleasure they are and were created. You may sit down. Now, Father, thank you, Lord God, for this word, Lord. Thank you, Father, that it may enrich my heart and the hearts of those that would hear Lord, it is your day, Lord God, and we glorify you, Father. Take the lead in our soul, in our mind, in our body and spirit. 
that, Father, everything that we give forth will be of you and not of myself, Lord. For you are the glory and the power. And your Holy Spirit rest upon us now, Lord God, to give us, O oh God, that which we so desire. To feed us, O oh Lord, where we never want no more, Lord God. That we should have eternal fullness of drink and water, Lord. Drink and food, Lord. And be full to the hilt, Lord. And I thank you and I praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. Saints, you may be seated. Here's the thing that we must remember. Is we make a choice, every last one of us in our life. And that choice is a very important choice because there are so many things in our life that we make choices of, but this is one thing that you have to make sure you made the right choice. I thank God for that choice. Even though the days that I was in my youth, I did not see that choice. I did not heed to that choice. I did not take heed to the word that was coming to me through my parents. But oh, blessed be God, he spared me to the day that I did recognize the choice that I should have made. Praise God. So we have a choice today. Hallelujah. And I know that hopefully everybody in the building know Christ. Everybody is saved. And I hope that it's designed that God will fill them for the full of the Holy Ghost. Because he can do that. But the choice is important today. And if you don't remember anything... Remember, the preacher said, we all have a choice. All right, all right. Remember that. And so I, I, I just want to go over a few things that so relatively to the, what I'm saying, because we can go through the scriptures just back and forth and find so many things that, that tells us that we, sh we must be careful about what choices we make. That was a story or that was a, a, a group of scriptures that was, that was said or read and uh, and I want to read them to your hearing so you can see what I'm, what I'm talking about. And Moses was the one that read these scriptures, or he's the one that gave these scriptures to the Israelites, to the Jews in the wilderness. And Moses had finished his term, his tour, praise God, of leading the children of Israel out of Egypt. And he had, oh, it was a great awakening, a great deliverance. A man that first said, well, I don't know. You, I can't speak elegant. I can't do something like this to go get the children and bring them out of Egypt. Get my brother Aaron. He's good. He's eloquent. He can speak good. Get him. And the Lord said, you know, Moses said, I, I got a slow tongue. I study when I talk. He said, who made you study when you talk? He said, who made you slow of tongue? He said, I made you like that. He said, so now I must have wanted to use you if I made you like that. But Moses thought that we need an elegant person to speak for him. You see, it's not always the things that we think. Just because a person got BS, HSD, DDD, PPC behind their names, it doesn't mean that they qualify. It's just simply that they're good in what they, their, their, their degree has set in. But that doesn't mean that you say, oh, let's use him because he know. No, 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 no. If it comes to God, you bring him by the Lord. Because that's the one that chooses who tells somebody this or that. Not what we think as men. Because we have, a, we have a, a format that we use or that we learn that basically it's normal because this is what we have as normalcy. We think that that's the way it's supposed to be in our society. But let me tell you something. God can walk on the stage and you don't need nobody down there to catch him. And he can walk down through that just like he was on the air. And you wonder, how could that be? Because that's the kind of God he is. He can walk on the air if he want to. He doesn't do things like we think it ought to be done. And so, praise God. And so Moses told and talked to the people and brought them out of Egypt. But these are the things that he said to them. He said, for this commandment, which I command you this day. This is out of Deuteronomy. Uh, one person used to call that uh, uh, uh yeah, Geronimo, I play. Yeah, he said, in the book of Geronimo. Now, it wasn't that he didn't just know how to. He just, he know that it has something to do with running, you know, Geronimo, Geronimo. So he said Geronimo instead of Deuteronomy. So anyway, but, 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 but he, he went to the book of, of, of Deuteronomy, 30, chapter 11, verse 7. For this commandment, which I command you this day, it is not hidden from you, neither is it far off. 
says, it is not in heaven that you should say, who shall go up us for us to heaven and bring it unto us that we may hear it and do it. He said, neither is it beyond the sea that you should say, who shall go over the sea for us and bring it to us that we may hear it and do it. He said, but the word is very nigh unto you in your mouth and in your heart that you may know us or may do it. Hallelujah. I see, I have set before you this day life and good and death and evil. Listen at that. Life and good, death and evil. Wow. And he said, in that I command you this day to love the Lord your God, to walk in his ways and to keep his commandments and his statutes and his judgment, that you may live and multiply, and the Lord your God shall bless you in the land where you go to live or possess it. But if, you, but if your heart turn away so that you will not hear, but shall be drawn away and worship other gods and serve them, I denounce unto you this day that you shall surely perish and that you shall not prolong your days upon this land, whether thou possess it over Jordan to go to possess it. said, I call heaven and earth to record this day against you that I have set before you life and death, blessing and cursing. Therefore, choose life that both you and your seed may live, that you may love the Lord God, and that you may obey the voice, and that you may cleave unto him, for he is thy life, and the length of thy days, that thou mayest dwell in the land which the Lord swear unto your father, unto Abraham, unto Isaac, and unto Jacob, to give unto you. Amen. You see, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob are still alive. They ain't going nowhere. You see, that's why people, you know, we mention these names, especially these patriarchs, these leaders of God people. They, you know, say, well, they just back in the day, they still alive, y'all. The Bible said, he said, for, you remember the scripture he was talking to the Pharisee, talking about, said, yeah, uh, Abraham, Isaac, all of them, they was our father. He said, yeah, they ain't dead, though. <laughs> he said, they, they still alive. And you know, that's where you will be if you obey God's word. Now, that's the choice that you got to make. But will we make the right choice, y'all? Who want to serve a God like this or who would not serve a God like this? And so the choice is a simple one. But nobody wants to serve him. We talked, to, we talked in Sunday school this morning about being obedient, about obeying the Lord, and then having a relationship with him. Nobody wants to have a relationship with God. They want to have a relationship with everybody else, but they don't want to have now with God. But that's the relationship you got to have. You got to have that relationship or you ain't going nowhere. So there is a choice. What will you choose today? Will you choose life? Or will you choose death? Well, now, I'm going to wrap this up, y'all. I'm telling you, look, y'all going to remember this message because I'm going to be through with it. Hallelujah. You got a choice. You see, there's only wrong or right. There's only good or bad. That's only up or down. That's only hate or evil or love. That's only what you say. Uh, uh, I like the little term that says, uh, that's another little phrase that they use, uh, uh, Bitterness or sweetness? Yeah, yeah. See, you got a choice. Uh -huh. Come on. Yeah. But I'm going to tell you something. You better look good because I'm going to call out something for you. You see, there are some things on the left side. And now that left side is a bad side. It's got abominable. It's an abomination in God's eyes. Addiction, adultery, anxiety, apathy, <laughs> argumentative, Bigotry, backbiters, bitterness, blasphemy, boasters, call people a fool, cheating, chronic lateness, coarse joking, covenant breakers, covenant 
covetousness, criticism, debate, deceit, depression, despiteful, defilers, disobedience, dissension, divorce, drunkenness, emulation, envy, evil thoughts, fearful, foolish talk, fornication, greed, gluttonous, haters of God, hatred, hearsay, homosexuality, hypocrisy, idolatry, immorality, implacable, implacable, inventors of evil things, jealousy, lasciviousness, loudness, lust, lying, maliciousness, ungodly, malignity, materialism, murder, negativism, negative, neglect, God's word, neglect prayer, no concern for the lost, no faith, no trust in God, none repentance, not honoring your father and mother, not loving your neighbor as yourself, occult involvement, passivity, pornography, prejudice, pride, perjuring, procrastination, profanity, quenching the Holy Spirit, rebellion to authority, resentment, reveling, uh, sedition, selfishness, slender, slut, speaking obscenity, stealing, strife, unbelieving, uncleanliness, unforgiving, unmerciful, unrighteousness, unholy, vanity, barren, whisperers, and gossipers, wickedness, witchcraft, without natural affection, without understanding, all among us, Greek, worry, work, work about wrath, all of these things are on that bad side. Do you want to live on that side? Well, maybe you need to hear something a little bit better. Hallelujah. I don't want to be in that bunch, y'all. I don't want to be in that bunch. But I tell you what I want. Hallelujah. I want freedom of choice. No more devil drama. No more baggage. No more guilt. No more condemnation. Useless, you can choose to hang on the old one. A direct link to the master. Don't need Verizon. Don't have to say, can you hear me now? God is always listening. Conservation with God. You can talk with the creator and he listens. And he will talk with you. Oh, God has our back. Isaiah 52. The provision of unconditional love through God and Christ. Hallelujah. We never be forgotten, left or abandoned by God. Though Christ, ooh, through Christ our Savior, we have a walking example of faith and love. Well, oh, three words, the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, clear communication between you and the Holy Spirit and he becomes your teacher. When you are saved and made righteous by the blood of the Lamb, your prayers are effective, heard, and they are a delight to our God. Oh, we are God's children, hallelujah, as a spiritual child of God. You have a special, special spiritual relationship with the Creator. We are forgiven of all our sins. We are a new creation. We are the temple of the Holy Spirit. We are the deliverance for the power of darkness and translated into God's kingdom. We are the elect of God. We are redeemed. I have, I am a blessed life with all my needs. I am epistle of Christ that is read by all men. I now can help others to also obtain salvation. Uh, abundant life, liberty and freedom. Oh God, hallelujah. 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 Well, hallelujah. Physical hearing, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Freedom from sin. Hallelujah. Friendship with God. Hallelujah. Having a covering. Hallelujah. Transformation. Oh, realization. A realization. Oh, from plan. There is a plan just for you. Oh, mental and bodily health. Prosperity. Oh, perspective. You stop looking for what is wrong and joy is what is right. Oh, miracles. Your mind is open to God. Oh, a gift, a present to wake up to each morning. Every time I wake up in the morning, I see that I'm a gift from God. Hallelujah. Oh, bless you, Hieronymus. You are more than conquerors. You are joint heirs with Christ, sealed with the Holy Spirit. You are born again. You are a partaker of his God and works. God's work master. Oh, heaven, a citizen of heaven. Your names are written in heaven. 
hallelujah, a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people from God. You have eternal life. You have the peace of God. Oh, with God and peace. Oh, God, you have received power. You are positioned in Christ Jesus. You can do all things. You can do even greater works. You are the overcomer. Woo! Everybody standing, everybody standing, everybody standing. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I have put before you life and death. I gave you life and death. Now you can choose which one you want and what size you want to be on. But the choice is yours. See, we make many decisions and choices in our life. But when you make this one, you saw what happened on the left side. Every kind of sin in the world was named. But on the right side, every blessing was to those who love the Lord. And I'm, I, I want you to remember what the preacher said today. He said you have a choice. He wants you to remember when you leave these four walls and say, what did the preacher talk about? Making no mistake, I had 51 things on the, on the left side and almost 100 on the right side. You can make a choice. We're going to give you just a few seconds to think about it. I'm going to sing a little praise in my heart. People tell me I can't sing, but I love to sing. Because you know what I be doing, my missionary? Doctor, you know what I be doing? I be making a joyful noise to the Lord. And Brother Pastor said, if you're going to make a joyful noise, keep your mouth shut. No, he said, open your mouth wide. Well, I can't keep my mouth shut. You've been waiting. Thank you. Ooh, on a blessing. And it seems that it just won't come. Tossing shepherd. Things are rough. It seems that you are done. Oh, but the devil is a liar. He is a deceiver too. God, he is not through. God is not through. No, 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 God is not through. Blessing you. You've been waiting. On deliverance, and it seems that it just won't come. Body sick, pain everywhere. It seems nobody cares. Oh, but the devil, oh, is a liar. He is a deceiver too. God, Pastor, he is not through. God is not through. God is not through. Blessing you. God is not through blessing you. God is not through blessing you. So never, never, never give up what he promised oh, to you. Because God is not through. Thank you, Jesus. God is not through. God is not.
not through blessing you and you and you and you and you is that one today I know maybe you already know the Lord but maybe you have a new a new renewed commitment to him that you might fulfill the test which he has given you now you know whether you're saved I'm not gonna I'm not gonna ponder that you ponder that in your heart but perhaps you are saved and you just need a little bit more feeling Elder Lewis on Friday night speak about the activating of the oil to ignite that oil of the spirit well this is the time to ignite that oil maybe that oil has become stagnated in you and you need to set it on a flame I'm going to tell you look at the world y'all something is happening and I know missionary first lady mentioned it a few weeks and months ago that she feels something dreadful is going to happen. Well, it's all in the works. It's all in the makings. I hope that you will be ready when that day comes. So now I'm imploring you, if you have one, you don't have to show yourself up front. Maybe you feel a little embarrassed to show yourself, but you know what? I wouldn't let the devil tell me I'm not going up here for Jesus. I'm not going to, I wouldn't let him tell me. I wouldn't let him get the victory over my, my deliverance. I just want to do it because he ain't got nothing to give me. Nothing but pain. But it's your choice. And if you choose to not to, I will still pray for you. Because that's what, that's what men and women of God do. They pray in God, in, in spite of neglect or in spite of reluctancy, they will pray for one another and for you. So as you stand in your presence, I will pray for you. And we will pray. The saints will pray as well. I know I got the bullhorn, but they're praying in their hearts. They got a direct connection to God as I do. I got a connection to you because I'm on the bullhorn, but they're talking to God above for you. So we both are imploring God for your deliverance. Father, thank you. Lord, I have delivered the message, Lord. Lord, I don't know where it, will, where it will land, Lord, or how deep it will infringe upon the hearts of those that hear it. But, Father, I, 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 I am perplexed. My heart is fixed, Lord, because I know that this is a message you gave me. But I know not the people in this audience. Oh, Lord, meaning simply, Lord, that I know them, Father, by their outward but I know them not by their inward Lord. And now, Lord, do it for them, Lord. Whatever the need is, Lord, that they need to grow stronger, that they need that extra joy to go further, Lord, I implore you, Lord, to do it for us, O God, that they may receive from the Lord that which they so desire. And now, Lord, it's done, Lord. Oh, Father, we are not praying to some disappearing God, some God that is in some distant land, but we are praying to the Father who is in the midst of us right now. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. Do it for us now, Lord. And let your mercy abide. And let it abide upon these hearts to give them their desire, Lord, that they may go further into your will. Now, Father, I thank you. Yeah. Lord, I, I, I feel the virtue, Lord. I feel the virtue go out, Lord. And I know it is done, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for this word, Lord. Thank you for this truth. In Jesus' name. Yes, Lord. Amen. Amen. Yes, Lord. Yes. Yes, Lord.